RamCountry.com proudly presents TNT Outdoor Explosion. Welcome to TNT. This week, my good friend Richard and I go to Africa to hunt with TDK safaris, and we get to hunt one of the funniest looking and one of the best looking antelopes in the world. This is TNT. TNT Outdoor Explosion is brought to you by RamCountry.com, Venture Out, HuntingTrophy.com, Logistics Experts, Dead Downwind, your last line of defense in the field, ESP Digital Hearing Protection, empower your hearing, Sweet Apple Game Calls, it's the sound that counts, Nature's Fury Nutri Drink, find your fury, or our ranch, where hunting meets the mother road. Nichols Custom Guns. When you only have one shot, use Nichols Custom Guns. Well, walking around one of the trade shows, I came across my good friend Lisa McCorder. And Lisa is the owner and operator of TDK Safaris in Africa. And she invited us to come out and hunt. Who's going to turn down a trip to the dark continent? Sure not going to be me. So we made plans and come June, I was on my way to TDK Safaris. Well, we arrived really late in Johannesburg, so our plan was to stay at Africa Sky B&B. It's a wonderful place, great lodging, incredible food, and most importantly, a good place to get a good night's rest before we continue our journey. After breakfast the next morning, Lisa's crew was there to pick us up. Well, my friend Richard was going to be accompanying me on this trip to TDK Safaris. Uh, we got there mid-afternoon, so the first order of business, as always, was to check the guns. Here we are in uh, the Waterberg area of South Africa uh, with TDK Safaris and our PH Kevin. And uh, as we always do, we're going to make sure the sights on our rifles were not disturbed in transit and uh, get ready to do some accurate shooting. Serious hunting. Yes. Yes. We're 
We're all sighted in now, so let's go hunting. This week's TNT Tech Tip is brought to you by Dead Downwind, your last line of defense in the field. Okay, well I am here at the Dallas Safari Club convention. Now we all know how Coppersmith Hunting Trophy and Michael and these guys get our trophies home safely from Africa. We've done that many times. But Michael, we were talking about this and regardless of the trophy, where it comes from, whether it's Australia, New Zealand, or Argentina, you guys can get it home to us. You can, you can get from anywhere else in the world. We recommend that you contact us prior to your departure. We can get all your stuff set up for you, so when you get back, it's smooth sailing, and we can get everything cleared for you as quickly and as we possible. So what do you reckon that you're saying? A minimum of 30 days prior to our departure, somebody should contact Coppersmith and get these right here. Get those, and we'll get your power of attorney all set up. We'll get you in our system, and when you get back, you'll have no worries, and we'll get it all cleared for you as fast as we can. Great, folks. You know, there's a lot of rules and regulations changing in the marketplace today. And one of the important things that you want to make sure is your trophies can make it home. So these guys work very closely with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Department, as well as work with shipping containers and agencies all across the world. They've been in business now how many years, Michael? 68 years and been doing trophies for almost 25 years. Okay, Michael, so be sure and tell the viewers how they, where they can go to find out more information and learn about what they need to do. Well, our hunting website is huntingtrophy.com. And uh, all of our information, all of our packets, and all of our videos are up on that website. And okay. All of our information, you can find it right there. So, there's nobody better, I can assure you, to get your trophy home safe to your trophy room. One of the main animals on Richard's list at TDK was the red heart beast. And they are a very unique antelope in Africa. Um, People call them ugly, people call them pretty. It's whatever your opinion is, but at the end of the day, it was definitely one that Richard wanted to get before he went home. Richard had hunted the red heart of beast for a couple days and they saw a lot of great trophies at TDK but had just not came across the big shooter heart of beast that he was looking for. Well, they had two days of working into a red heart of beast and unfortunately had not found the one they wanted yet. And as the day came to an end, it was time to go back in, have another great dinner and get a good night's rest. Richard and his PH Kevin finally did get on a very nice heart of beast. Unfortunately, it was not a shot that would pay off for Richard as he barely missed it. Well, Richard was very upset about missing the heart of beast and was just about to give up. But luckily, he had one last go in him and he was hoping for redemption. Okay, Richard, we saw some fresh tracks of the red heart beast. Let's get on them and see if we can uh, get one today. Good show.
Well, after several more hours of stalking, they finally did find another trophy heart of beast, and Richard was quickly on the sticks and was gonna make sure this one didn't get away. Well, this time Richard made a great shot and the heart of beast did not go far and Richard was now going to be going back to the United States with the red heart of beast he wanted. Well, we've tried a couple of times to get onto the red heart beast. Not once were we lucky enough to take a good shot, but this morning uh, everything went according to plan and we got on it early and you did an extremely good shot on it. Well done, Richard. Thank you very much. This segment is brought to you by Nichols Custom Guns. When you only have one shot, use Nichols Custom Guns. When I was talking to Lisa about putting this trip together, she told me that she had some really great Nyala on the property. Now, Nyala is probably one of, if not my favorite antelope in all of Africa. Because I do like the Nyala so much, we made this a priority hunt for us on this trip. And uh, Dakota, my PH, knew that they had been coming to this one certain water hole. So we sat over by that water hole and watched for a couple days and we saw a lot of animals. Well, after a few days at the water hole and the Nyala had not showed up, Dakota suggested that we take the hunt on foot and go look for the Nyala. So I was pretty excited about that because that's my preferred method of hunting in Africa. So the next morning we made a plan to start cutting tracks and see if we could find Trophy Nyala Bull. You know, Anyala is a very, very tough animal to hunt because they typically only move much early in the morning and right at the end of the day. So we spent a lot of time checking bedding areas in the middle of the day, but we had no luck. And we were now coming down to the last day of our safari. Well, Dakota was looking through the brush and finally spotted a huge trophy bull. He told me that this was the bull we had to get and being that we were down to our last day, we were gonna go after this bull no matter what it took. Thank you. 
This segment is brought to you by Or R Ranch, where hunting meets the mother road. Well, little did we know what it was going to take to get on this Nyala. He was very weary and knew we were after him. So this was coming down to crunch time. And as my last day safari was nearing an end, I knew the pressure was starting to mount. We ran after him, we crawled, we walked, we stalked for over four hours straight to try to get a shot on this bull. Unfortunately, every time I would put the gun up on the sticks, he would take off again. The sun was just about to set over the horizon and the Nyala finally gave me the shot I was looking for. Well, I was covered in sweat, completely out of breath, and totally exhausted, but we finished this hunt in true TNT fashion on the last day at the last lot. I will be telling this story for many years to come, and I'll have the trophy to prove it. All right, well, here we are, this absolutely, incredibly beautiful Nyala. Uh, Dakota, and you did a great job getting us on this thing. We. We covered some ground, I think. We did cover some ground. We covered a lot of ground, actually. <laughs> Not just some. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, folks, what I've got here is just an absolute one trophy of a lifetime. Um, to, in my personal opinion, one of the most beautiful antelope anywhere in the world is the Nyala. I'm very lucky that this is a also big, mature male with an excellent bell-shaped, great ivory tips. This is TDK Safaris, um, where we're hunting, and we've been here for a week, over a week now, and it's been an absolutely incredible trip. And, um, you know, animals like this are just the icing on the cake. When you look for a safari, first thing you should look for is the people that you're hunting with. And um, Dakota, I can't tell you how much I appreciate what you and the entire team here and Lisa and everybody does to make this such a great operation. And I couldn't recommend it any higher than I already do. Thank you, appreciate that a lot. Yeah, we've, you know, we've worked really hard to build something that, you know, people can come to and feel comfortable with. Yeah. It's a big decision to come here to Africa. Sure. We've tried to, you know, do our best to make it as home, as home. Yeah, well, know. and I will say as a, as a guest here the, over the last week and for all of our crew, I would say it does feel like home. And we appreciate it. And most importantly, I appreciate the people such as yourself doing what you do so that dreams like this can happen for guys like me. Well, hey, we appreciate it anytime. You're Thank welcome. you, buddy. It's awesome. Man, what a great trip we had with Lisa and Dakota there at TDK Safaris. First class organization and first class people. Hey, if you'd like to find out any more information about any of the sponsors or outfitters seen on our show, be sure and check out our website at tntoutdoorexplosion.com or check out our Facebook page at TNT 
outdoor explosion. Hey, thanks for watching this week. And until next week, remember, do what you love and share it with your family. Close captioning brought to you by ESP America. DNT Outdoor Explosion is brought to you by RamCountry.com, Venture Out, HuntingTrophy.com, Logistics Experts, Dead Downwind, your last line of defense in the field. ESP Digital Hearing Protection, empower your hearing. Sweet Apple Game Calls, it's the sound that counts. Nature's Fury Nutri Drink, find your fury. Or R Ranch, where hunting meets the mother road. Nichols Custom Guns. When you only have one shot, use Nichols Custom Guns.